I'm still reading the books on the Carnegie Medal long list. Uh, I can't remember now when the short list is announced, but I'm working my way through the long list. And I've got another two. I'm going to talk to you about two today that I've just finished. October, October by Katia Ballon and The Valley of Lost Secrets by Leslie Parr. Both are, well, they're both very different books. The first, I'll start with October, October. Now, this is a book about October. She's called October and her dad. They live in the woods. They dad built a house and they're really self-sufficient. October knows everything about trees and nature and they find a, a baby owl that she looks after. And she's got no relationship at all with her mother. None at all. When her mother sends letters or presents, she doesn't want to know. And then her father has an accident and is in hospital and she's taken to live with her mother. And it's the story of a girl who is finding her way because suddenly from going to the woods, from, from living in the woods, she's now in London. She's now in a city. She's now in a school. And it's being an outsider and it's finding her way and finding friends because she's never had to interact with others before. She's only had a dad. So it's learning to make friends. And it's not a story of cities good, woods bad, or woods bad, cities, no, the other way around, woods good, cities bad. Oh, you know what I mean. It's not setting one against the other. It's a story almost about stories because October loves making up stories. And it's about the fact that not every story has the perfect ending that you're hoping for, but that doesn't matter as long as you've got the story. And it's a, a way of her changing, her developing, her finding a new story for herself. So that is that is quite a, a lovely book, actually. And you have, you've got little illustrations of, of the owl as well through here. The next one is The Valley of Lost Secrets, and it's another one set in the Second World War about evacuees. The other one I read, um, When the Sky Falls, that was about a lad who moved from, Lon from the countryside to London. And these children have been evacuated from the city to Wales. So they are in a small village in Wales and we've got 12 year old Jimmy and his little brother Ronnie and others from his school and they all living with different people in this little Welsh mining village. And Ronnie adapts to life, he's little, he adapts to life so easily and Jimmy finds it more difficult, he finds it difficult to, to settle in, to be part of this family that he's moved into. They move in with Alan and Gwen Thomas. Alan's a minor. And he finds it really difficult. And what he also finds difficult is that his friends from school have changed. Duff, his best friend when he was in the city, is now almost on the other side. And Florence, a girl that they all used to pick on and bully, she has totally transformed moving out of the city. So he's discovering all these things as well, as well as being an outsider. And when he's out and about, he discovers, he finds a skull that's hidden in a tree. And he suddenly thinks, well, you know, is this valley safe? Am I safe? And 
he doesn't know who he can trust because, as I said, his best friend is now on the other side. His little brother is too little. He hasn't made any friends in the village. So he doesn't know who he can trust. And also, a lot of the villagers are distrustful of the evacuees or the vakis, as they call them. And there's a little bit of bullying going on. And the congregation box from the church has been stolen. And suddenly there's this feeling of mistrust towards the vakis. And then he finds an ally, and it's an ally that he would never, ever have expected to find. So this is a story of discovery. It's learning what's important. It's a story of friends and family. And I think, I don't know, I, I liked both of these. I couldn't say which one I liked the most, but I, I liked both of these. And you've got the descriptions of the countryside. You've got the descriptions of the mine that are very vivid. And you've also got the interactions between the, the kids. And these are just the sorts of react, uh, interactions you hear in any playground. They're, they're totally realistic. So, yeah, it's a story that um, almost that cruelty and bullying never win. And it's for, for, um, a story about friendship and family. So, yeah, two crooks on the Carnegie. I like them both. So um, I'll move on to the next two now. So happy reading, take care and bye.